From the time he was 18, Alexander Graham Bell experimented with transmitting speech electrically. In 1871, he began teaching the deaf using a technique called visible speech, helping to bridge the gap between the deaf and the hearing. The visible speech system, developed by Bell's father, showed how the lips, tongue, and throat were used to articulate speech. In 1872, Bell founded a school for the deaf in Boston, which became part of Boston University, where Bell was appointed professor of vocal physiology. In 1874, Bell developed the basic concept for his early telephone. Demonstrations such as the 1876 Philadelphia Centennial Exposition introduced the telephone to the world and led to the organization of the Bell Telephone Company. Bell devoted his life to helping people with disabilities. He could not have realized that he would one day be remembered as the founder of the renowned AT&T Bell Laboratories. Today, AT&T is a company with enormous resources, but a company that still values all individuals, a company that continues Bell's tradition of bridging gaps and building bridges around the globe. For the first time ever, people in Bulgaria can contact directly to the United States with just the touch of a few buttons. They contact an operator, set up the call, and hook straight through. That same tradition lives at AT&T Bell Labs and other AT&T organizations. AT&T Global Information Solutions Project Freedom is a prime example of Bell's tradition. 120 years after Bell's invention, Project Freedom invited elementary school students to experiment with the latest improvement upon his marvelous discovery. Students from Dayton's Deaf Education Program were given the opportunity to use the AT&T Telemedia Personal Video System. The system features a camera mounted above the monitor of a PC and allows its users to see one another. They can also share computer applications and talk all simultaneously over digital phone lines. Current telecommunication devices for the deaf, TDDs, are designed primarily to make use of the telephone possible for adults. Since the children use sign language, the telemedia personal video system allows them to communicate over long distances using this language. For these students, AT&T's new technology is helping to bridge the gap. These are their first steps across the new bridge. So you can read what I type? 